thinking we gotta jump across. Where's that damn dog? Oh, I think that's where, um, around where Mark is. He's gonna fall. Don't fall. Okay, well... <laughs> He's just getting beat up and it's not my fault! Sorry. Fuck, what the hell? <laughs> Charlie? You're alive. With broken ribs. Sorry. Charlie, you scared I, me. I thought you were dead. Don't I'm scare dead. me. I'm sorry for that. I thought. Uh, oh, God. I'm so glad we're both alive. I, I nearly went up in flames. I know. We saw it. You saw it? On a monitor. The, the whole place is wired. Where are the others? Mark, are they, are they safe? No. Aaron is dead. What? Dumek killed him. Oh, Jesus Christ. What have I got us into here? Her body was uh, cut open, mutilated. Aaron, Jesus. We were all separated trying to get out. Dumet has the entire place rigged with traps. We followed right into his game. We have to get out of here. Yes. Back to the ferry. Please. You meant disabled it. We all agreed we'd head for the lighthouse if we can't signal for help. I don't suppose there's any good news. Actually, <laughs> I never thought I'd say this again. Cigarette? Oh, well, his lighter? Um, I just realized something. Hold on. realize my light was off although maybe it's better for the uh the the mood the vibes i don't know <sighs> okay mark where'd you go stop running off Oh, there he is. Jesus. Sorry, I elbowed you in the ribs. That's my bad. I saw your freaking sweater, but it was too late. I was already committed, you know? my lighter oh I can't even go any further this way there's a box there so we're gonna have to drop that down
Why is this old man doing all the heavy lifting right now? Well, I guess Mark did take a bad tumble and then he got <laughs> cracked in the ribs, so never mind. You rest a bit, Marky boy. What is that smell? Ugh. I saw uh, a dog out here. Yeah, I did too. Probably dead body. Scared bodies. the shit out of me. You scared him off, but panic him most likely. What the hell is this? I don't know what I'm looking at, and I don't want to know. What was updated? Oh, Mark told Charlie he'd seen the dog too. Oh, okay. to inspect whatever that was is it heartbeat time There is way too much heartbeat bullshit in this game. I guess I prefer it over the quick time events. Just, just one button, you know? your head two victims discovered with heads switched another gruesome scene was discovered in an abandoned warehouse on the outskirt outskirts of dalton georgia the two sorry husbando made a loud noise somewhere in the house um <laughs> the two victims are believed to be the latest in the homicidal spree of the imaginary killer Alongside the two victims, FBI agent Monday reportedly counted multiple repurposed body parts of the crime scene that appear to be from past victims. Monday described the macabre animatronics uncovered as deranged creations that are an insult to victims' humanity. DNA is yet to confirm if they are in fact the missing body parts of previous victims. This is just sick.
Okay, what is my objective? Get to the lighthouse, escape the curing factory. Oh my god. What? What is he doing? He's preserving his kills. That's great. Why? Because they're valuable to him. The trophies. Keepsakes. Yeah, you guys are doing a documentary on serial the killers. Seems like... to know a lot. Do you think maybe we're dealing with more than one person? What do you mean? Tending this place, the weird robots, the traps. Could it be just one man? It's one man. One very driven, very disturbed man. I'd take it with me to wherever it is through here, but I guess it won't fit. Recent body? Mark, Mr. Lee, Mr. Harrison Lee. 10 622. Subject dead by asphyxiation. Subject washed. Freezing not required as formaldehyde solution has been prepared. Move to Curing House to commence pres 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 preservation. Oh my god. So, I. What? Are we in. Uh. November right now? I can't remember, but this is pretty recent, I think. Harrison Lee. One of the. One of the one, names that was on the, um, the list at the beginning. The sign in list. We're in late October? Oh, so okay, this is like just earlier this month. Early decomposition has not yet shown obvious deterioration. Viable specimen for animatronic integration. Formaldehyde fixation solution introduced to subject's cardiovascular system. Fixation solution process complete. Four hours, 30 minutes. Subject added to acetone bath re-examined re-examination in 24 hours. No issues found with subject in acetone. No signs of rigidity as of yet. Re-examine re in 48 hours. Good progress. Signs of rigidity in extremities. Previous subject, Mr. Lewis Harrison, required disposal and acid bath rigor mortis reach skin, causing severe blistering, resulting in unviable specimen, possibly due to subject's smaller stature, expediting decomposition. 185 pounds versus 142 pounds. Delay to fixation commencement or formaldehyde level estimate too low. Continued positive progress. Extremities fully hardened, extending into stiffness of limbs. Re-examining in one week. Um, this is like seven days later. Limbs 50% hardened. Acetone drained and replaced. Re-examined re in 24 hours. No issues with new acetone replacement re-examine in one week okay bearing updated charlie found documentation on how dumet creates his animatronics that's lovely step one fixation step two dissection step three Three, removal of body fat and water. Step four, impregnation. Step five, positioning. And step six, curing.
Sorry, I heard music and I I wasn't sure if it was coming from the game or not. It's not. Is that really what went down though? I don't know. What's this? You joking? Is that where we need to go up or what? Um, Mark, you want to get your little doohickey? Need to find a way out. bodies that's great oh this is that okay hold on over here oh oh it's a ring it's not a just really sad all of this is just really sad and disturbing Oh, 
god, is this game almost over? Oh, great. One at a time, guys. Is it just a balance beam situation? Okay, I think I can do this. Go slow. Don't go too fast. Okay. Run! Why doesn't she run? Okay, I, I am glad to be, I mean, I'm still scared. But I'm glad to be out of the house. Man, it is pretty spooky out here, though. Oh. <laughs> what if she died? this Francis Morello Francis Morello is that that must be Joseph's brother Inferno oh it looks like a ride Thanks for the day out, Uncle Francis. Dang. God, all right. At this point, if if three make it out, that'd be great. If two, I'd still be decently okay with that. I just don't want one or zero. You know? Hoping for the rest of these three make it out, though. Would be better than our record with, uh, than the last game. House of Ashes, only two made it.
There's a not nice dog in there. Do I have to go in there? I don't have a screwdriver. Oh no. Nice doggy. Is this the same dog? Oh, I think it's a different dog. Oh, n fuck. Still got that axe. Easy boy. I'm not going to hurt the dog. I'm sorry. There's no way that the game wants me to hurt, stab the dog with that. There's no way. And you know what? If that's what they want, then fuck them. I thought she died. I thought she died because I saved the dog. Could you imagine if they're like, oh, you want to save the puppy? Well, you die. lighthouse do you think they're here we need to find a way in they're all dead they didn't make it one thing at a time let's get inside Like, I have his camera here, but I can't see the, the prompt for it. Of the little, um, inventory wheel or whatever. Just add it to the long list of things that I can't fucking see!
I can't see where I'm going. Evidence, address, Chicago, case number, evidence number, recovery date, 1998. Zero 0600 hours, I, Officer Frank Hooper, discovered that one or multiple individuals had gained unauthorized access to the evidence room at 1612 West State Street. Among the missing items were assets recovered from the apartment of former FBI agent Hector Monday, including books clothes, notes, surgical tools, and dental equipment. We are currently running with the theory that this was the direct result of souvenir hunters looking for a piece of memorabilia from the case. End of report. Hector, oh no, don't put it down. Hector Whalen Monday, Leonard Kemp, Brandon Day, Benjamin Pit, uh, Pitizel, Cole Rogers, William Baldwin, Charles Leacock, Howard Sagrand, Ned Yoke, Brenton T. Lyman, Richard Belknap, Brantham Dumet. There's Dumet. So what did it say? what did she say exactly again? Wedding ring with an engraving belonging to Harrison or Lewis Lee. Harrison and Lewis were guests at the hotel. They checked in a few weeks before the TV crew arrived. The ring belongs to Lewis Lee. Dumet uses acid baths to dispose of victims' bodies that he has no use for. Harrison Lee's body was found intact. Bloodstained Chicago police badge. The badge belonged to the police officer Agent Monday killed. A clipboard found near a chemical bath. It contains notes about the process of preserving Harrison Lee's body. Harrison Lee checked into the hotel a few weeks ago and was dead by the following morning. An audio file of a police... <coughs> APB radio broadcast. Police suspected that Hector Monday was the Chicago killer. After investigation, police later confirmed that Hector Monday was the Chicago killer. Monday killed the victims while working in Chicago, helping to train the detectives on profiling. A newspaper cutting stating that Hector Monday was found dead. Police confirmed that he was the shoeshine killer. Because of the successful capture of the Beast of Arkansas, Hector Monday was assigned to a new case investigating a potential serial killer in Chicago. So was he, um, investigating himself? A list of aliases. They're aliases. So they're all, all these people, Richard Belknap. All the names that he's used to correspond with different people Brantham Dumet they're all Hector it's Hector 
An answer phone tape from December 1997 asking someone not to make audio recordings when visiting their mother in Twilight Prairie. The message was from the manager of the retirement home where Lucinda Monday lived. A costume design, Dumet put a lot of research and effort into creating a look that mim mimicked H.H. Holmes. A hastily written resignation letter. This is a resignation letter from one of the construction company workers to the foreman. Driver's license belonging to Francis Morello. A theme park ride photo of a man with a young girl. The people in the photo are Francis and Bethany Morello. An email thread discussing a custom mask. Someone called Brandon Day ordered a mask. Brandon Day is an alias. Dumet ordered the mask. Dumet is also an alias. Grantham Dumet, artist. Four of five found. I probably missed one somewhere. Hector Well on Monday. Dude, oh my god. Sometimes the controls in this game are Okay. Silver Spring University of Science Science and Medicine. This is to certify that Hector Waylon Monday has has been awarded awarded the degree of Bachelor of Science in Psychology, May twenty second, nineteen eighty eight. So he got a psychology degree 10 years like prior. What do you have to say for yourself? I never said any of that shit. That's what I'm saying. I'm such an idiot. I wanted this to work so much, I just accepted everything he said. He just took he snippets, yeah. Not a bad job either. It's convincing. Why would he frame me? Is he gonna try and pin this shit on me? Mark found Dumet had created false evidence implicating Charlie in the murders. I knew you wouldn't do that, Charlie. I never doubted you for a moment. Actually, I doubted you for a little bit. Like, I, I wasn't sure. But I was pretty sure. I was 99% sure that you didn't actually say that. Is that a Pokeball? Looks like there may be another boat on the island. <gasps> okay. Let's see. Kate found the dog in the farmhouse and chose to let it go when hiding from Dumet. Mark found some boat keys. Oh, there was another one. Mark found a list of names including Grantham Dumet. Man, this Monday guy, he's crazy. Mark and Jennifer Edwards. 
Edwards? Wasn't Edwards on the list? I don't know. Oh god. There's noises. Clarence, I thought I should write you with the news as you haven't been to see me in six months. You have a son. I gave birth a few weeks ago. I need you back here. I can't do this alone. My parents are helping out, but they're both very old now. Come home, Clarence, please. L. Monday. <gasps> okay, so that's Lucinda. 1965. That's Hector's mom. So did he not have a father figure? Didn't have a father figure, I'm guessing. God, what's in here? Ah! Son of a bitch! Give me a dog any day. <laughs> I was gonna say, is it a dog? Yeah, just a stupid cat. Okay. Um. Oh, here we go. Okay, up we go, a little bit higher. Oh, a lot a bit higher. A lot, a lot, a lot. Power up the lighthouse controls. Of course. It couldn't be that easy, could it? No way. Mark's gonna fall. Sorry, Mark. In advance. Tampering with the seal is a federal offense. Tamper. All the tampering. Ow. Ow. Well, they warned you. I guess that did it though. Now we gotta shimmy back across and possibly quick time event. We got it on. Mark turned lighthouse lamp on. Okay. Oh, oh. <laughs> Fuck yes! Woo! <laughs> yeah. So, hopefully help is coming for us, but I'm pr pretty sure... What's his name is going to be coming after us, too? Where's Charlie? Hey, 
Hey! Up here! Kay! Hey! Oh, behind you! Oh no! Why didn't you bring the dog? We need the dog. Oh. Regroup with the others. Where explore the lighthouse. I wasn't expecting. Who's talking? Are you early for a change? What is this food? Recovered January twenty eighth. St. Paul's Cemetery, 1998. Dear Mr. Monday, I'm writing to inform you of an issue with plot R357P124. As the right of internment is in your name, it is my duty to inform you of a recent incident at burial plot R357P12-4. A patch of soil has been disturbed and the headstone was moved from its base. I understand that this is the grave of your late mother, Lucinda Monday. Therefore, I appreciate that this news may be distressing Unfortunately, on rare occasions, local wildlife can cause such disturbances, and we suspect that this is the case in this incidence. As a matter of public safety, it is our duty to ensure maintenance of our plots is of a very high standard, and we have swiftly corrected the disturbance. There has been no permanent damage. Sincerely, J. Gray, Jeffrey Gray, Chief Caretaker. Um. Okay. Recovered January 28th. What? Did he recover her body? Hold on. This is January 30th. So I think he took her body. And they just lied and said everything was fine. They said they fixed the problem, right? No harm was done? They're like, shit, this guy's mom is gone. We, we can't tell him that, though. There she is. No fucking way. <gasps> Fuck. You're a selfish monster. Always happy. The boy who loved scary hey. stories. Hey! Who are you? Helen Blake. Dude, she's dead. She's half puppet, half human. The lonely boy loved reading scary stories. Wow. He read scary stories all day and all night. Wow. Oh, wow. He lived with his aunt, but he crossed it out and put mother, but she was very strict. Stop reading that book. The boy was sick of being told what to do. It's not fair. The book gave him an idea. Revenge! The boy sneaked through the house. Heh heh. He jumped and shouted and frightened his mother. Ra! Ah! He loved scary stories. Ha 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 ha. What? The fuck? No! <laughs> Always right to your favorite page. Predictable little shit. I know you. So this is the stuff that he was getting her to say? Before, like, when when they were complaining about his getting the recordings? Maybe? Who was updated? What's new? I thought I saw something new. Never mind. Oh, maybe it was a cl it must have been a clue, not a bearing.
A letter sent to Hector Monday's father, which was returned. Hector never knew his father. Lucinda raised Hector as a single parent. Mm. A children's book about a child scaring his strict aunt. It appears Dumet was inspired by the book to wear a mask. Dumet decided to integrate a mask into his persona. A framed degree certificate. Hector Monday has a degree in psychology. It's crazy. He was fascinated by the mind of the of these killers and then he became one himself. Charlie, oh God. Oh, thank God. oh, there he is. Oh, thank God. Have you seen Mark? He's all right. He's trying to get that bloody light going. Mark? He's not all right. Please tell me you can hear me. What happened? Are you okay? Go, Charlie! What about Jamie? He got her. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh that was my God. bad. Oh, Charlie does not look good. even want to know what all this bearing updated is right now I don't I can't handle it Salim. <laughs> Why is it Salim? What the hell? Oh. Hands where I can see them, all of you. Oh. They killed them. No talking. I said hands where I can see them. Thank God you're here. You have to help us. Until I know what's happening here, no one moves. Uh, the boat? The boat? Seriously, lady? <laughs> Are you kidding? We get help and then he just kills our help? I am so sorry, sir. Your whole purpose in this was just to get brutally murdered. Let's go. Run, get the gun, get the gun. Grab the gun. Sorry, so 
Salim. You survived in the other game. Come on. This way. This should work. Why does he sound so calm? Come on, this way. This should oh, work. It's not working. Let's go have a picnic later. Starter cord. There. <sighs> work, damn it. What's the point of the damn lighthouse? <gasps> Doggy friend. Hey, Connie. Could you see it, boy? Come on. Come on. <clears throat> Doggy friend. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> Are we safe? I mean, last time we thought we were safe in House of Ashes, we weren't safe yet. But how's he gonna catch up to us? We made it. Did we? Thank God it's over. And we brought the dog no. for survivors. <laughs> No fucking way. I knew it. Hang on. Doggy. Charlie's in the water. in the face damn it oh oh where's Kate she's just doing nothing nothing on my screen imagine if i hit kate <gasps> he's dead right like Your face, I don't know what will. 
We have a non-stop block of your favorite classic rock after this break. No damn commercials. Oh. Oh, shit. Shit! <laughs> Imagine we all get hit by a truck because a bag of potato chips fell. And I looked up, and there they were just in the middle of the flipping road, waving their hands and arms like a bunch of crazy. And where are you coming in from? Uh, Fort Wayne. Been driving since 3 a.m. Early start. Well, I was trying to get into the port by 8. It's probably not going to make that now. Doggy. Right? I'd say likely not. You know what? I think I'm going to see about that studio in Brooklyn. See if I can make it work. After this, starting over feels like a good idea. Yeah. Just... Promise me you'll tell me how it goes. Only if you promise to keep giving me unsolicited advice. Count on it. Can I... Can I stop squeezing my controller now? <laughs> can I breathe now? <laughs> Need a smoke, buddy. <sighs> yeah. Actually, you know what? I'm trying to quit. Charlie! Charlie! If you could survive all that without having a cigarette, you could do anything, man. I just noticed my heart rate monitor's probably been frozen since my last break. Oh, God. Okay, three, three. Not the greatest. I I could have it could have been four. I, the Jamie one. I could have. Oh man. Man, he got. He got um. Joseph Morello and his daughter. The, man. You good? Are you upset about Jamie and Aaron? I, I am too. What's going on? This is different. Uh, yeah, I've been here. All good things must come to an end. But how good was the end for our crew? Unfortunately, you lost a few. Of them. A couple. So rest in peace. A couple. Erin. Erin. The new girl surprised everyone with her courage, but now she's gone to the great audio suite in the sky. And Jamie, the plug's been pulled and the lights are out. I don't think rewiring the fuse is going to help this time around. You know, you're really insensitive. What about those who survived? Has the experience changed them? Kate had a secret. She was traumatized by something that happened a long time ago, but she faced the thing she was most afraid of in the whole world and survived. Mark had to stop waiting for people to tell him what to do. He had to make his own way in the world. And Charlie finally understood that leadership is more than ordering the team around. He had to treat them as equals and let them take the lead 
when the time was right. I'll tackle the paperwork in the morning. Can you find your own way out? It was, as always, enlightening. I have no doubt we'll meet again in the future. Farewell. I don't think we will meet again. Curator. This is, there's like. He got stabbed in the chest! How the fuck? The chain of events are still unclear at this point in time. What we can confirm is that a little after 7 30, a truck driver was flagged down to render aid. The police were called and quickly arrived on scene. The survivors are part of a film crew, Lonnet Entertainment, the team behind the Architects of Murder docuseries. Fuck, man. It seems like as though they got a little too close to their subject material. And some of them, sadly, did not survive. Thankfully, their ordeal is now at an end. Holy shit. Remember how my video went viral? How could we forget? You bring it up every chance you get. Just listen to this. I got enough views to win a competition. What did you win? An all-expense pay trip to an island resort for five. Oh, God! Did. Yeah, Mr. Dumet says they're gonna send a limo and everything. He's still using the same this is alias? Be so much fun. Oh, my God! Someone stop him! It's still going. Oh, Animatronics rendition of the theme song. Directive 8020 Season 2 premiere Not anytime soon, please? So it's Alien but Dark Pictures. Yeah, let's take Alien Isolation and Dark Pictures Anthology and just put them together and give Bunny Tails a heart attack. That sounds like a great idea. Well, I'm finally done with that. I think this is definitely one of the scariest games that I've ever played. Like, my nerves were shot during this one. I think it's a combination of being chased by this killer, the 
claustrophobia of the how the hotel and all the hallways and corridors and all the different rooms, the small rooms, and the fear of the permadeath. And I was really, really wanting to like, I came into this one really wanting to just do better to not get people killed. And once I lost Aaron, things just started getting really bad for me. Mentally, I was really upset about that. She was my favorite character, even though I barely got to like get to know her. She was so cute. She seemed so sweet. And I was thinking to myself, I really hope she survives. Like, she's the she was the one that I wanted to live. If one person could only live, I would want it to be her. But unfortunately, she was the first to die very early in the game. And then with Jamie, I just missed the one quick time event. And uh, at least the other three did live. I'm I'm kind of like loving and hating this one at the same time. I hated like how it made me feel. I felt like it was difficult for me to play for as long as I uh, have planned out for my stream. And I wanted to like take breaks or end the stream and come back to it later to just kind of like relax myself. But I couldn't stop, you know, because I got a stream. And I didn't want to end the stream or anything, but it was really getting to me. I was frustrated with how little room for error there was with those two characters. I'm going to assume those are the toughest ones to keep alive. And I wasn't really a fan of how much of the pitch black dark with just a tiny little light exploration that there was in this game. I felt like it was unnecessary it didn't add to the tension for me it just added to the frustration i'm trying to explore i'm trying to figure out where i'm going and it just made it really difficult and it did not add to um the fear it just yeah it just made it frustrating but i did love the story i loved um uncovering all the clues about um hector and how that was slowly brought forth the truth about uh, everything that was going on with him. And that is going to be the conclusion to the Dark Pictures Anthology Season 1. Thank God. I think my favorite... It's really hard to say. I really, really loved some things about this particular one. Like, the characters were probably my favorite cast of characters. I really liked Charlie and I really liked Aaron and everybody else was pretty um, pretty good too. Nobody really annoyed me or maybe I'm just getting more used to the annoying characters that they <laughs> make for these games. So I'm not sure if I like this one more or about the same as House of Ashes, but those two are definitely my favorite, followed by Little Hope and then Man of Medan in the last. Now, the quarry is next. I already have it purchased for PS5. Oh, God. The PlayStation controls will be coming back for that. Um, but I am going to take a break from these games. And I'm going to play some, some other games. And it's probably going to be a while before I get to the quarry. Because this is not good for my health. <laughs> but I hope you guys had fun. Let me know how you did in your playthrough. How many people survived. Who survived. Who died? How did they die? Anything you want to share, let me know. Which is your favorite Dark Pictures Anthology Season 1 game? And are you excited for Season 2? We're going to go to outer space. And it's going to be absolutely horrifying. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next playthrough. Thank you for watching. And goodbye.